What's up guys? Baker here. Today I have a tutorial on um uh, to call this motion tracked gun. And this is basically this text that I have motion tracked to the gun on my latest OCE for phase stamina. And um just got a thousand likes, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh let's just take a look at what it is, if you haven't seen it. It's coming up on uh, this kill camera here. Look at that text like stuck on the gun. You can see I've yeah, put some uh, custom text on the actual face of the gun. A little e Easter egg right there. Baker's a boss, and um, that was pretty cool. So this tutorial is actually pretty similar to my uh, other most track tutorials. The only difference is the way you mask out um, the clip in Buju. So. Um, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine, but if you want to, you know, stick around and just, you know, hang out, then that's fine. So anyways, we have a clip. Um, this won't really work for anything that's, like, really fast, like quick scoping or um, something like that, because you need, like, a continuous piece of footage, and uh, it needs to be slow enough so that the track can be accurate. So this is why I picked the kill cam part because it is already in slow motion you know and um, it'll just be super smooth so don't try to do this on every clip or something it'll look really bad so I'll go to the first frame where the gun pops out right here one two three something right there push B to start our work area and go forward until the end of this and there we go, go back. Couple more frames. Come on, buddy. Perfect. Okay. Get all the frames you can. So this is about four seconds long, so the slow motion will be pretty nice. So when we use Buju, we're going to um go to add render queue, and you can probably do this with uh, the built-in camera tracker. I just don't have it because I have CS4, so I don't really know how to use it. So, Buju is always a good second option. Anyways, we'll go to JPEG Sequence, hit OK, go to Output 2. We're going to make our own folder for this. So, Motion Tracks, new folder, call this Gun Motion Track Cut, Create, and click Save, and Render and uh, it'll render this out. Make sure you don't move your work area because we're going to be pasting in our camera to the exact same work area so make sure you don't change that at all. So anyways, um, what else? Just got done with finals. It's winter break now. Happy about that. And um, try to get some stuff done. Community Taj, still got about 30-45 seconds left super excited it's gonna be amazing so anyways move on over to Buju import sequence hopefully you guys have uh, done this before so you should be pros at it by now so we'll go ahead and find all those pictures desktop motion tracks uh, gun motion track cut and click the first frame open and hit apply and then go to your frame rate, 59.94. Yeah. Also, if your if your thing is 29.97, it will probably be less accurate because there's less frames to track. So make sure you have a high frame rate track or uh, slow motion. So if you're on like Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3 or something, if you record it at 30 frame, uh, 300 frames per second, like super slow motion, you can probably track it pretty nicely with that. So if it's full speed then it really depends on the clip. So, Anyways, just trying to get all the information I can across. So anyways, we need to make sure it only tracks the gun. So we're going to use a poly mask. So zoom out a little bit so we can go around. So just make sure you only get the mask or the only you only get the gun and you can go a little bit outside. Try not to go too outside because it will track yeah, that and we need to go around the outside so that we only show the gun so our mask has a keyframe on it so we're gonna move forward 
and just you know zoom back in and just fix some of the points so make sure our uh, background isn't really showing too much move forward and um, I'm actually just gonna fast forward this part for you guys so it's not too boring just make sure you put enough keyframes so that um, we don't really show the background and um, yeah I'll see you in a few seconds okay I'm back so a couple tips um, if you can see the gu the guy's hand is moving make sure uh, you kind of mask that out because you don't want to track the thumb you know moving so make sure it's you know kinda gone and stuff so we have our gun we have a little bit of thumb action over here so maybe I can clean that up real quick that's okay delete that okay so anyways you know just see how it works and uh, if it doesn't then just retry it we'll go to track features and since we have a small area we're gonna go to advance and just pump up the sensitivity so we can get more track points it'll take a little bit longer but with such a limited area we need to make sure this is you know pretty accurate so so what's gonna happen is it's gonna track the gun and instead of um, the way Bougie works is it thinks everything it tracks is a static scene and then the camera's moving but in this case the gun's moving right so it'll analyze this and you'll see when we do the 3d points um, the gun will be still and it'll show the camera going like all wild around the gun and it's it's pretty interesting but it's a cool way to trick the camera solver in order to track something onto the gun you can make some cool effects um, stick something on the scope you can probably try to do that and show you that um, I like the uh, writing on the actual gun the little secret message and of course you know the shiny 3d text sticking out like it was actually you know part of the gun too that was pretty cool so yeah just just chilling so we got all our track points and we're just gonna ho go ahead and click camera solve and start boom and it should be fairly fast I hope because this track wasn't too wild, it was pretty smooth for the most part. Um, yeah, come on, keep going down. 10.06, 10.05, let's go. 10.04, yes, come on, come on. Um, yeah, don't know what to say right now, I'm just stalling and stuff. And um, How about this, while we're waiting, go ahead and comment right now of a new tutorial you want to see. Okay? any new ideas I'll try to do some more edits I know people liked um, my recent edits and stuff so any new tutorials comment right now I also want you if you haven't checked me out on Facebook like my Facebook page I talk to all my fans on there a little bit more often than Twitter so um, either one of those I also have t-shirts bought a t-shirt and um, people that buy t-shirts or make a design get box so check that out so we have our track points and I can actually turn off the mask if I just uncheck this box so I see our track points and for the most part we got everything pretty tracked so that's good so we're gonna set out our seam geometry like that um, since I want the text to be you know sticking straight out I want you know the front and back to be aligned with the gun so I can pick let's say this line this dot here and this dot back here, you can see it's kind of on this um, indent on the gun. Add the coordinate and make this uh, z-axis front and back, right? Up, update. Now, there isn't really a uh, x-axis, which is left and right. I can probably find one up and down to make a y-axis. So if I zoom in here, I can probably pick, let's try this one and this one. And add coordinate from hint, make this y axis, connect, update, and just pick any of these right in the, in the front. Add coordinate, make this your origin, connect, and update, and close. Now let's check in 3D. So you can see this is that left side of that gun, and the camera, which is really the person's you know viewpoint or whatever, is moving around like crazy. So here's our gun. So you can see if your points were you know straight or whatnot. So looks pretty good. 
if you're going to want to put something on the gun, you're definitely going to need to export some points. So I'll export one of these points down here at the bottom. Right click, flag for export. I'll, uh, let's see, is this on the scope? Yeah. I'll uh, export one of these points on the scope. And maybe just one out in front back there. Flag for export. Okay. Export camera solve. Browse. And save this in that same folder you made with all your picture files. So we'll go to desktop, go to motion tracks, go to gun tut, and just call this uh, gun track solve or whatever you know pre comp you have with solve at the end. So after after effects file save export flag tracks only scale scene by thousand save and we'll jump into after effects and import your thingy. So we'll go to motion tracks. Uh, gun track, gun track solve. Go into that composition, highlight all the keyframes, or not keyframes, null objects and camera, copy it, go over to here, paste it, and take your time indicator, hold shift so it snaps to your work area, make sure it hasn't moved this whole time, push begin bracket to snap it over, and perfectly fits like that. So, a couple things we can try. We can make some text real quick and call it, uh, Text on the gun. Text on the gun. Fun. Text on the fun. Text on the gun. And we can make this all caps. And um, I'll make this 3D. Now, this null object, where is it? Not that one. That one. We'll push P. Copy this position. Position. <sighs> Command copy. Or control copy. Position over here. Select position and just do paste. And now this text, if we look over here, 100% is on that spot. All we need to do is just rotate it, probably rotate it Y direction, 90 degrees or so, and maybe a little bit this way. So I can actually move this you know, back on the gun. I think I actually had it right there. And you can set this, you know, to overlay to make it look like it's actually kind of um, on the gun, find a cool transfer mode, text on the gun, and you can see it is, for the most part, it's tracked. If the position is not exact, it will look like it's moving a little bit, which it kind of does, so mess with it, and you, um, you'll get it right. So, other things, you can make 3D text, just use elements, or, um, you know, something else. You can make big text, oops, Big text, make this uh, 3D, and we'll make scale this up and push this out to the side. Big text. So let's see how this looks. So it looks like it's 3D and it's stuck on the gun. So that's pretty cool. So that last one with the uh, scope, I don't know, you can make some kind of 3D scope ring or something. Let's see if I can make something real quick. 720, 720, circular mask with the, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll just go ahead and uh, subtract, make this that or something. Fill that and then um, light blue, make it 3D. And take the null object on the scope there. P, position, copy, scope, ring, position, paste. So we get that. So we can scale it down to that size. Probably center it so it needs to be up a little bit and to the right. That. Maybe set this to add. So now it looks like this ring is, you know, stuck on the scope. And you can move the... With the gun, you can uh, let's duplicate this, push it back, duplicate this, push it back, duplicate this, push it back, duplicate this, push it back. So now we have like, you know, tons of rings or something, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how that would really work as a super cool effect or something. But anyways, the whole point of this was Buju. The only difference was masking the outsides away and motion tracking the gun. So, hopefully this wasn't too long a tutorial. I know some of you have 
seen tutorials like this but this is just a specific effect different technique on how to track the gun and I thought it was super awesome make sure you also put on motion blur for everything because uh, the gun is moving and it'll look better that way so anyways go ahead and like and favorite and comment and share Facebook Twitter t-shirts all that stuff and also comment on new tutorials and check out this edit and stuff if you haven't. And that is it. Okay, I am done. Okay, peace.